Andrew just finished her up and uh, you know being the boss of course I think I got to take it for a ride and it is a V8 CJ7 on one tons of 40s with our three link and four link kit so you know I guess this is probably just like quality control product testing and even though we didn't build it it is uh, our builder component so I better check it out Well, you know everybody says it can't be done but after driving this thing I think uh, I could admit that it can be done so first off we got to give credit where credit is due this is an unbelievable CJ build uh, I wish we could say that we built it here at WFO but we definitely did not um, this CJ was built for David by a guy named Clay Cushman at Cushman Customs in Orland California and I can honestly say that he has pretty much knocked it out of the park. He's made the full buggy, daily driver, classic CJ, uh, roll down the freeway at 70 miles an hour, you know, do it all Jeep. Um, and there's a lot of things that are super innovative on this Jeep uh, that I want to show you guys. Uh, even though we just did the center console and the ice chest rack. And we did build the front axle and the rear axle for David. Uh, so the way this build went down is David has built a Jeep with us before. In fact, he was the original owner of the white scrambler that I drive as the WFO scrambler. So he is uh, definitely not a stranger to building a badass CJ. And this is basically the next level up that he put together with Clay at Cushman Customs. So. The way this build went about is he went, what did I do on the CJ I like? What did, uh, what did I want to change? And uh, I think the changes he made just hit it out of the park. So um, first off, pretty simple. It is a 6.2 LS, 4L80, um, Atlas 4.3, uh, as far as the drivetrain and running gear, which you, know, you can't argue against the uh, LS automatic running gear. Um, but where, where Clay took it to the next level, and I gotta give him mad props for this, is this frame. Two by three, box tube frame, front to back, full custom. He built it from scratch to kinda fit the CJ tub. Um, <clears throat> but what's happening here, and you can see it right here in the front of the Jeep, is uh, much like Ryan's Scrambler up there in Nevada, the top of the frame rail basically goes right to the bottom of the front uh, blinker marker light there. So, so as you look inside here, you can see the grill tucked down in, the steering line's going through. So the frame rail is a full, probably three to four inches higher up than where the stock CJ frame would be, which allows for all the up travel of the suspension. So it's three link in the front, four link in the rear. Um, and in doing that, Clay went ahead and mounted the PSC steering box right out here in front of the grill, way up high, so no no box hanging down, no room to smash the pitman arm, full high steer. Um, and then it goes on and on from there. Obviously, tubing, gotta have your uh, classic 8274 winch with synthetic rope um, sunk into your CJ, it just pops it off. Um, and then this is where you just start to go crazy. So um, basically it started with David saying, hey, build us a front, or build me a front axle and a rear axle. I'm gathering up the engine transmission transfer case. I'm going to take all these parts down to Clay and have him put them together. So in the front, we use the 80 through 91 Kingpin Ford Dana 60, um, pretty common. It has our low pinion three link truss on it that we build for those axles. Uh, we went ahead and put crane knuckles on the outers here and then our high steer arms. And then also you can kind of see the bracket there. We uh, upgraded the Ford brakes to 99 to 2010 GM HD dual piston caliper, so it has GM brakes on it. And then a simple high steer with hydro assist. 
still with a steering box. I mean, this is the key to this build. It is a manual, you know, a steering box, regular power steering, drive it down the highway rig. Um, 40 inch Goodyear MTRs, radials, you know, on trail ready bead locks. They run really smooth down the road, work great. Um, <clears throat> it has 538 gears in it, chromoly axles, 35 spine outers, ARBs front and rear, um, kind of a simple axle build, full width 60 front, high pinion, and then as you go to the back, this is a factory disc brake GM 14 bolt rear, so that would be a, out of a newer 2500 HD truck. Um, this also has, if you look around the back here, has our full width uh, 14 bolt truss on it, has the HD coilover shock mounts, um, dual triangulated four link, see off the back here, two and a half inch um, Fox coilovers, and I believe it has 14s in the rear, 12s in the front like we normally do. Um, Andrew just killed it with the uh, ice chest rack on this thing, keeping it simple. Um, but even when you look in the back here, you got the rear sway bar from TK1 Racing. The, being the frame rail or the frame is so thin, there's room here for way more up travel than the factory frame. So with your air bump way up here, frame way up there, has a ton of up travel in the rear. I mean, this thing will really shine when you're out in the rocks or in the desert hitting things hard. So this is where it starts to get interesting and I really like what Clay has done. So pretty simple roll cage, but what happens is the roll cage, if you take a look right here, that tube goes right up to the front firewall. So the seats are mounted on the roll cage. So you're all buckled into the roll cage. The tube goes up to the firewall. And then you start to notice things like this. Tubing of the rock sliders, tube right to the frame, shock hoops, tubing mounted right to the roll cage. So everything's rigid. So basically what he did is make like a full race car chassis in a sense. Um, so slider still welded to the frame. Fender is attached to the slider. So in a sense, this isn't really a fender. This is uh, part of the chassis right there. So we're going to pop open the front and we'll just go all the way up with this. So right up against the Baja Design slide bar, which is awesome. So you can see in here, that plate coming out of the firewall ties into the fender bar. You got your shock hoops on the frame. Everything is just integrated together. So there is no flex or movement in this chassis at all. And all the simple detail items like Hydro Boost brakes, PSC Hydro Assist, simple single battery setup. Um, the fuel lines are done really well. Um, then you work your way up and go, well, what else is custom about this? Well, you've never seen a radiator that big in a CJ. And David has said it was super important to uh, keep this thing cool, not have cooling issues. So with the grill sunk down so far and the frame rails close together, and the headlight bezels, there's only so room for a standard CJ style radiator. But with it leaned back like this, up against the motor, it's about six inches wider and fits in there just awesome. Now you're forced to do electric fans, but the thing stays ice cold. The, the, the system for the electric fans is working great. So in this case, I think to accomplish what he had to do, run the electric fans was the right thing. Um, <clears throat> even as simple as the shaft from the steering column a short steering column was ordered so that the splines and U-joint are right at the firewall, which allows a nice even shot right to the steering box. So there's no idler U-joints uh, or any bind in the steering. It's just right to the box. You know, I did it tilt column, um, super clean on the interior. Like everything about this rig uh, just screams what you would want to do with your CJ. If you're putting a build together yourself, start from the frame and work your way up. You know, the Scrambler still has a stock frame that's just plated. So, I mean, this thing is definitely, you know, top of the food chain. It's a sleeper. You walk up to it, it's faded paint, you know, doesn't look like much. And then you start looking at all the components and unbelievable build. So I hope, hope you enjoy what you saw and you learned a couple tidbits off of this one, because I know I did. And I can't wait to go wheeling with David again next year in this thing.